All right, I gotta get on this G5 project and stop screwing around. And we are just going to um, pretty much lay it on its side and um, start ripping all the hardware out of it. Um, I don't think you guys need to really see me rip all this stuff out. There's plenty of videos online showing that. I'm just gonna get to it. All right, I got the motherboard out. Now, with most of my projects, this is what I kinda do. I just kinda sit here and stare at it and think. <laughs> so what I'm thinking is that I'm just gonna remove this stuff. I'm gonna cut out the rear panel and the motherboard panel of another case that I have sitting over there and basically use these standoffs to if I can avoid doing the Dremel I'd rather just do it like this all right even though I'm gonna be able to break these welds there are those little rivets down inside there that are probably gonna be more of a pain that's what we're looking at right now. I'm gonna finish cleaning that up and then we'll start eyeballing where we're gonna put in that new panel. But here's the IO that I wanna use. This is put together with rivets and I could pretty much drill these out and this whole thing would come out. All right, that was pretty easy. I had to drill out maybe like, maybe 10 rivets at the most. And this whole section came out and I think I'm just gonna make this a little smaller all right I got a bit of a rough rough cut now so this is just kind of a test run I need to see what this is gonna do Good. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of um, it's kind of nice though so far. We're just hacking it up and dry fitting it like that. So after eyeballing this piece inside the G5 case, I kind of traced out, you know, where I'm gonna take my Dremel and cut this. All right, I'm done trimming up this piece from the half. All right, I'm making a little progress on this thing. I got it all trimmed up now, and I've um, secured it to this, these posts right here with these four screws. Four is enough. It's pretty, it's pretty solid in there. Um, the next thing I need to do is deal with this back area. And I've kind of like marked it out where I need to cut it. All right, so we got that chunk cut out. I still don't know what I'm gonna be doing with this section. I'm probably going to be notching it like this and over and then putting another grate right here for an 80 millimeter fan. So, but for right now that's how it is. Now I'm gonna put the pan back in and stuff and see how the IO looks in the back. All right. So to my surprise, like complete surprise, I was able to wedge a 120 millimeter fan in between here and here. It's super close and it's, it's just wedged in there on its own right now with no screws or anything. I took that front grill off of the Dell case. Now I just have to see where I'm gonna place this thing. All right, so this is what I've come up with using that panel off the Dell. And I don't think it looks too bad. I'm gonna paint it a silver. Hopefully it, you know, blends in well with the aluminum. Uh, the only thing I've bought so far for this project is the motherboard. So everything else that I'm using is just stuff that I've had lying around for a year or two or even three years, some of the stuff. So um, like I said, it's a low budget situation and I'm just trying to um, 
you know, get it done economically and look as clean as possible. And what I'm gonna do right now is start painting stuff. I need to paint all this, the pan and everything, um, a nice silver to blend it a little bit better. Right now it's just like kind of primer gray. Hopefully that helps to um, clean up the stuff. And I'm gonna try to like clean up these marks and stuff like that. So let's get started. So I pretty much have the whole thing finished as far as the motherboard tray and the PCI and all that stuff. This back area like I showed you. And I mean, it's not as clean as I had hoped, but whatever. I mean, it is what it is. I think it looks good enough. And now on to the fun stuff.